Hi, I'm Nate with The Wall. Today we're going to be looking at the installation of a grinding wheel and a cutting wheel on a 60 volt cold disc grinder. Please refer to the instruction manuals for additional operating instructions and any PPE requirements. Be sure to also follow any job site or company specific policies you may have. We have the DCG 418 grinder here, it's our 60 volt grinder. This accepts anywhere from four and a half up to six inch wheels. First thing we'll do is install a six inch type one cutting guard. You'll recognize the type one cutting guards because they have a, a guard on the outer side versus a type 27 guard that has no cover on the outside. These are for cutting applications. To install the guard, we're gonna press our guard lever and you'll line up the keys on the guard with the keys on the gear case. Slide it down and around. And as you'll notice, I've set this up to where my wheel will be on the left-hand side of the grinder while I'm using it. This is because the wheel is spinning in this direction. If it starts to stall or gets pinched, it'll help pull the grinder away from the user. If I was cutting with the wheel on the right-hand side and the wheel spinning this direction, a pinch or a stall might push the grinder back towards the user. So I always want to cut with the wheel on the left-hand side. Additionally, we'll install the backing flange. You'll slide that over the spindle. When you do that, you'll feel it lock into place. It's also keyed on the back side. We'll put the grinding wheel on. We'll line that up with our backing flange to center it. And you'll take your locking flange, slide that over the spindle also. You'll get that nice and hand tight. Once it's hand tight, on the back of the gear case, there's a spindle lock button. You'll press that. And then you'll take your wrench, putting it into your, your flat locking nut, twist it until tight, nice firm. Now the wheel's installed. When you're using the grinder, you're always gonna wanna have your side handle installed. When doing cutting applications, we're gonna put on the left-hand side of the gear case here. Again, this will help keep that, that wheel on the left-hand side of the tool. So I have my front hand here, my back hand here for cutting applications. Now that we've installed that, we'll talk a little bit about the different styles of wheels. There are type one wheels that are very flat, that are for cutting, and there are also type 27 cutting wheels. These have the bell shape on the top that you see on a standard abrasive wheel. These can also be used for cutting, there's thin ones. And then what they'll do is it allows you to get a little bit closer to what you're cutting for a more flush cut. Similar installations will occur when you're doing a abrasive grinding wheel. What we wanted to show you is the installation of a hub wheel. So again, we're going to take this DCG 418 grinder. We're going to press the guard lever. We'll install the guard. And again, this is our type 27 guard. Let's lock it into place. And you've got multiple settings. So this is a straight on. And you can also set these at different angles. They'll lock into place, either direction. You want to make sure that you keep the guard in between yourself and the, the wheel itself. So if the wheel does burst, it'll block any of the debris coming back at you. To install a hub wheel, these types of wheels already have the threads built right onto the wheel. So all we have to do with these type is push our spindle lock again, and then begin to thread the wheel on. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to get these, again, very nice and tight. And then you're gonna install your side handle. When doing grinding applications, you can, if you're right-handed, a lot of times you want the side hand on the left-hand side, your right hand on the back trigger. If you're left-handed, you'll want your left hand on there and you'll allow you to put the side handle on the right-hand side. Same operation, you'll twist that into place. Nice and tight, and now you'll have that ready to go. These are just two of the types of wheels you can install on grinders. There are other methods of wire wheels, uh, surface grinding wheels, other types of wheels you would use for concrete, but the basic coverage here is a cutting guard for type 1 use, a regular 27 guard for grinding use, and the installation of wheels. Thank you for watching and have a great day.